Welcome to Take on Television. I'm Andy Beanstock with Dave Zurawick of the Baltimore Sun. Dave, this week, one of the most important chairs in television was taken over by a new host, Trevor Noah. And I'll tell you, I think actually one of the most important seats in popular culture, John Stewart's seat on Comedy Central. Trevor Noah finally arrived, his successor. Um, we've only seen a couple of shows Probably, not probably, it's definitely unfair to make a definitive call based on just a few shows. But I do, I have seen something already about Noah, and I think it's worth thinking about in this context. We are in the middle, we shouldn't be yet, but we are in the middle of a really not red hot, white hot sort of political season. Everyone is going to late night television in one form or another. Uh, next week, Tuesday on Colbert, Bill Clinton is going to go on, apparently trying to uh, double the power of the Clinton brand uh, during this stretch. Um, so that seat becomes even more important because Jon Stewart was such a political force. And here's the thing that I've seen about Trevor Noah so far. Number one, he's likable. He's really charming. Really almost so charming that it reminded me of a younger Johnny Carson, which is not a bad thing. Carson got by in his early years, as you know, on charm, uh, kind of boyish charm. Trevor Noah has that youth and that same kind of charm. But I don't know in the snark infested uh, social media climate of today if charm matters for much. But politics does matter if you're the successor of Jon Stewart. Trevor Noah has been doing politics, Andy, and it feels like he's not connected to what he's saying, that he's reading a script from very good writers. They're John Stewart's writers, but it's not his word. It lacks the passion that Stewart had. Whether you agreed with Stewart or not, he cared about this stuff. His war on Bull was a serious matter for him. Trevor Noah says, I'm continuing the war on Bull, but I just don't feel it so far from him. It really is like somebody reading the words or mouthing the words of somebody else. And I think that's going to be deadly unless they say, look, he's not Jon Stewart. We don't have the same political chops here that we used to have, but he can do X, Y, and Z. Another thing he didn't do very well among the things he might not be able to do is interviewing. I think he's a very poor interviewer at this fight. Does that mean he's not going to make it? No. They already got younger in terms of early ratings, in terms of the demographics, and that's a good thing. So too early to tell, but not so promising. That's Dave Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun, and I'm Andy Beanstock for Take on Television on WIPR.